the season after last week's debacle. Belfast look to break forward. Puck breaks off the stick of Mark Cooper and all the way down into the Coventry zone. Can't be really some, some, some good speed coming forward, Renner. They're bringing it. They're bringing it in all areas of the ice. And they're, they're right on top. They're so quick to contact. There you see it right there. So as he's taking a peek, he's taking a, a look up ice, and by the time he's just simply taking a look, he's already all over by the defense. So he throws the chance, it's in! A puck thrown in front of the crease, it comes off the skate of the Comedy Blaze player in front, and it looks like Tyler Soy is going to get the credit for that one. So as he going in the forecheck, he throws it blind just into the crease, and uh, you know you get the right bounce at the right time, and there you go, it's a goal. It's uh, off the skate of Ryan Penny, and Tyler Soy puts the Giants ahead, and just in a, we talk about obviously battling along the walls and and just doing the right things, and sometimes when you get the puck to the front of the net, you get rewarded. Conway singing around, there's a chance here, Blue off. Exits his own, we know Bluedoff's got speed. He's a man in the front middle, great chance there for the company. Please, it's in! It's through the legs of Beskarawani. Lovely chance and a pass coming through the middle and Schalk finishes it off for the Blaze, it's 1-1. Stinging us off the rush in that play, you're gonna see what uh, what happened, but uh, I think it is another case of, uh, you know, that's a two-on-one situation. Rupper wants to take that time and space away, but that's a skillful player and Evan Bluedoff on that wing coming down. Sneaks it through with a nice little sauce pass at, uh, you so know. It, it just jumped up over the pad of Besco, and it looks like Besco's right foot has actually pushed the puck into the net. It's 1-1 here, and it's now 3-3 in Agar, so it's a really good response and a quick response from the Coventry Blaze winner. Yeah, we're a tight game here uh, midway through the second, and, uh, you know, we've still got a game. We've still not been able to, you know, gain the control of, of the game that we, we typically like to. Bomb spins away. Marsh comes in to put the four check on. Good poke again by Bomb. Boucher around Dan Gibson under pressure from Penny. Boucher now again spins away. Still has control of the puck. He's tied up momentarily. Gets it to Tyler Soy. This is better from Belfast. Out front chance there. Boucher spins, throws it forward. And CJ Mott equal to that one. Coventry now off the glass. Just Outside the blaze zone, they managed to get it back in again from the stick of Slater Doggett. Up the wall. Good battle here with Kivalate, head hard along the blue line. Venus collects a puck up and gets it to the top of the stuff. A shot coming in, Besco on a big save. Venus at the back door. But Besco just dives on it and gets the glove over the top of it. Five seconds remaining with the extra man for the blaze. David Goobin on his feet. He's now coming out of the box. We're back to five on five. The penalty's killed off. Good support from Ruyop. Ruyop now, coughs it up, there's a chance here, the Blaze, great save by Pesco. Penny on Ruyop now, the physicality ramping up late in this period. Jeff Baum, off the wall, the hook, hook now. Helps it back to the neutral zone, good defensive play by Clements. Brings it back into his own zone. Tyler Soy on his own, takes a shot. Big glove save by CJ Mott. 16 seconds remain on the penalty to Dane Gibson. Chance go back to the top of the blue line for JJ Pekinich. He dumps it in, turns the puck over, and there's a chance here with a long stretch. Passes right on the stick. Clemens is in behind. He goes up and over the net on a breakaway. Defenseman David Clemens had the game on a stick on that occasion for the Coventry Blaze, and he's blew it. Way. It'll give and go back to the captain. Through the middle, through the slot from Soy. Out the far side, back to Griffin Reinhardt. He sends one in front, tipped in front, and Soy just couldn't get the end. Tipped in front from this time, an effort on David Gubin. Back to the top of the circles. Boucher, Jordan Boucher, tries to go short side, and CJ Mott just squeezes that pot against it. Post and Keeps the puck out of the net, but a big chance there for Tyler Soy. Here comes Bludoff. Evan Bludoff cuts to the middle. Paddle to safety by Beskarawani. JJ overskates that one. Has support. David Gubin. Coughs the puck up, uncharacteristically. 
That's going to be a delayed offside if it touched the puck. The play continues. Conway. There's a man coming later into the zone. That's the captain, David Goodman. He spins back to the blue line. Ruop. There's a man coming off the bench. Gets it across to Sam Ruop. Space. Looking for a tip in front. And CJ Mott again. Gloves that one. And no rebound given. 3.53 to go in the third. A little pass between the legs for Lake. Doggett strides forward. Slater Doggett, he scored some important goals for Belfast this season. He's not going to get one on that play. Maybe he does this time. Doggett to the outside. Ruop. Reinhardt, sorry. Sends it in and again. CJ Mott has been lethal with that glove all evening. 36.9 remains in regulation. It's 1 1. Pekinich and Baum join Boucher. Chalk, Hamannick, and Curran. JJ, he's got space. JJ Pekinich hits the crossbar. A wrister from JJ Pekinich. We've seen him in that position so many times this year. But he rattles that one off the iron. Turns out front, there's a little hook from behind there. David Gubin creates the space. Out front, kicked towards goal by Sam Ruop. Don't know if that would have stood, but the play continues. Lake under pressure from Cook. Ben Lake inside for Goodwin. 90 seconds on the clock. Ben Lake now. Lake decides to walk back out to the neutral zone and turns up ice quickly. Ben Lake, a wrist shot, tries to go five hole. Good save again by Mott. That was a smart play by Eistat. He could have been gone to the bench there for a change, but. Managed to keep his head up. JJ Pekinich, we're in the last minute of play. JJ has a space again, cuts to the front. Great poke check by CJ Mott. Conway spins, throws it through the slot out the other side. And JJ tries to keep it in at the blue. Cross ice to Reinhardt. Reinhardt, he's got Conway at the back. Conway tries to go five hole. CJ Mott again with another big save. So we are going to a shootout. The tension in the SSA arena. There's a few people actually leaving their seats. I don't know where you're going, mate. It's not over yet. <laughs> They're expecting a, an intermission. They can't look. They can't watch. I know how to feel, mate. Job by Coops out uh, doing the groundskeeper work out at. Uh, <laughs> the opposition goals in that front. It was off camera. He would die. Oh, there's one of our guys get over an eye penny. <laughs> Just doing the same thing. Look at look at Scott. Look at Scott Conway. <laughs> well, Ben Lake. He's going to be the first guy to take his penalty shot here tonight against C.J. Mott. So there's five penalty shots. And the best of five goes through. Ben Lake takes it to center ice, goes out to his right, steps in. Tries to go five hole. If he saved that, that's huge. That is absolutely huge. I don't know if it got the whole way through, past his leg. But if that's a save, that's an outstanding save by C.J. Mott. So, Kivalate. Kivalate goes to his left, cuts to the circle, takes a shot. Now, if he recollects that puck, is able to pull it to his backhand and put that in, I do think it's a goal. I yeah. think it, the puck was remaining forward the entire time. I think it could have been considered a fake and he could have redeemed himself. I was there. hoping, I actually thought he took the shot in the first instance. Here comes JJ Pekinich. Right-handed winger leading the league in goals this year. Steps inside, tries to go five-hole. And again, Mott with the save. You cut the tension in here with a butter knife. Here comes Luke Ferrara. Luke Ferrara out to his left-hand side. Steps in, Basco with a big save. Here comes Slater Doggett now. Doggett into the zone, the top of the circles, tries to go 
over the blocker. And again, CJ Mott with the save. Evan Bluedoff, the X5 flyer. Cuts in, tries to go five hole there, and Biasco shuts the door. Trying to be sneaky, coming in pretty casually, and then uh, ever so quickly just getting it to his forehand, trying to put it uh, five hole, but I think uh, Biasco had that read the entire way. Well, Scott Conway now, he scored the winner in Sheffield two weeks ago. This is huge. Scott Conway slows it down, fakes a shot. And again, Mott with a little poke check there. He keeps that one at bay. Anything in tight tonight, he seems to be getting that, uh, that backhand poke check on and uh, makes great use of that stick. And uh, honestly, there's times I, I see that I think uh, goalies should make more use of their stick. Ross Finis, GB International, drives forward down the right, tries to go five hole again. Besker Awani with a big save. This is the fifth shot coming up for Belfast. And it's the responsibility of the captain, David Gubin. Gubin. 80 points this year so far for the Belfast Giants. David Gubin now into the slot. And he slots it home! And Belden just lifted it off! Rib. Kevin Ryan just taking his headphones off there to appreciate the noise. And Goodwin means John Curran must score for the Blaze. The booze ring around the arena. He cuts it set and he puts it home. It's all tied up here again. As quick as you go in front, you get it back again. So Sudden death. Shoot out here. Coventry Blaze switch to Kivalate again. Kivalate. The Finn into the zone. Tries to go one way, steps in, and he slots it home for the Coventry Blaze. You could hear a pin drop here in Belfast night. Scott Conway has to score to push this forward. If they want to continue it, he has to score for the Belfast Giants. Conway, over the blue line, top of the circles, cuts in. He slots it home! Great move by Scott Conway! And he brings out the bow and arrow again. We continue. What a move, what confidence. It's an elite level move right there, and to pull it off in this situation is uh, very I'm, special. Am I right in saying it's sudden death? You can pick whoever you want to continuously if you want as well. Uh, I don't know that to be for sure. Here comes Ferrara again for the Blaze. And that's up and over. <laughs> so Uva got, he reverts back to the captain again. Kind of finished up here by the captain. And that's another aggressive poke check from the goaltender, CJ Mott. High risk, high reward. And, uh, you know, could he's still quite far away. He's got another step yet to go before he gets to that uh, area where he probably wanted to make his move. Kivalate again. He scored in his last one. Looks as if he's making him for the same move again to his right. Drives inside, Besco with a big blocker save. And out comes JJ Pekinich. Oh, maybe it's not. He's going to leave it to Scott Conway. Conway wants responsibility. He's coming to speed this time. Scott Conway, the GB International, into the slot, and a big club save from CJ Mott. Oh my goodness. We continue. John Curran for the Blaze. He comes over on his left side, cuts back to the middle, gains some speed, tries to go five hole. Besco does his job. And he shuts the door. Ben Lake now steps out, 
the ex-Coventry Blaze player. This would be a story. Ben Lake slowly crosses the blue line, gains some speed, cuts to the middle, and again, CJ Mott with a big save. I said it right at the start of the show, it could be a battle of the goaltenders, and it's exactly the way it's turned out. It's definitely turned into that here. How many shooters are we in each side? Good. It's nine so far. And who we're back to again? It's Kevalate. A lot of responsibility on the Finn's shoulders. Into the slot, and Besco with another huge save. And out steps JJ Pekinich. He shot the second one, he missed. And he'll be feeling maybe what's going through his head. Is he going for a shot? Is he going for the dig? We'll soon find out. JJ Pekinich nearly lost control, and he's won it for the Belfast Giants. Danny Stewart is apoplectic. He sent it, the puck was misplayed. We'll wait and see, but Danny Stewart is not happy. The play and the puck was moved, the puck continued to move forward. I think it's similar to that one that we were discussing previous. Are they saying it's over? Are they saying... This could be interesting. We're not sure exactly what's happening. It doesn't look like the officials are going to do anything about it. And it looks like... Yep, the game's over. The Belfast Giants are going to Nottingham.